بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن والاه وسلم تسليما كثيرا This is just a summary as uh, I always do when there is a dialogue or a debate uh, I summarize what took place because sometimes in a debate or a dialogue it takes long time people forget the main point which uh, we were discussing or the asl of the mas'ala meaning the the, the the main subject. So if everyone remembers, even I have the video here uh, from last week, that this liar, you know, Daniel, I keep calling him liar until they make tawbah to Allah and repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because in this video clearly said, Ibn Kathir said, you should force people to become Muslims. You should force them. You know what it says. No, I know he lied against Ibn Kathir. Okay, I'll say it again. I'll say again. I'll say again. I'll say again. Therefore, but All people of the world should be called to Islam. If anyone refuses to do so, is that the Arabic or refuses to pay the jizya, yes. they should be fought till they are killed. Yes. Does Ibn be saying that? Does Ibn Kathir saying that? Yes! Watch this. So clearly saying Ibn Kathir say force. So today you will see, inshallah, uh, uh, um, you will see the dialogue ahead of him. So why he brought the tafsir of Ibn Kathir, it was not tafsir, it's summarized. And uh, um, I brought the Arabic one, I brought different prints for him to not say, no, this one uh, is fake. So to show him that four prints and all of them say the same thing. I must, uh, let me re re remind everyone again. I challenged him that I will show him that this man is a kadab, is a liar. That Ibn Kathir never said that. And I said that, even check my video, I said, Ibn Kathir said, yes. Ibn Kathir said, uh, you should force no one to become Muslim. Yeah, this is the Arabic one. You should force no one to become Muslim. So Ibn Kathir is stating what he believes. Then Ibn Kathir said, majority of the scholars said, this verse applies to people of the book, okay? And also takes their rulings. Then Ibn Kathir said, some scholars said, this verse has been abrogated. So what this liar did, he left all of that, even he left with Ibn Kathir said some scholars and he uh, attributes the speech of that some scholars to share with Ibn Kathir to confuse the people. So when he noticed that, instead of saying yes, I was wrong, I did misquote Ibn Kathir, I did lie against Ibn Kathir, it was unintentionally, but he consisted or he insisted upon his lie. That's the first one. I want everyone to remember that this man is a liar. And I was showing him. That is a lie against Ibn Kathir, yet he didn't care, and that's why I'm from now on, on inshallah ta'ala, bi'idhnillah, no more. I'm not going to speak to them, because those guys, they're not there to see the truth, they are liars. Even when he said, this verse abrogated, some scholars said, when I asked him for the proof, he had no proof. He was bringing the verse which doesn't support. When I told him, the scholars mentioned it's been abrogated, because, for example, the verse... When Allah mentioned about the disbelievers, parents, the father and the mother, if they force you, they force you, try to force you to leave off Islam, you should not listen to them. So if Islam tells us to force people to become Muslims, so the parents, we should kill them. Because the parents are not even, uh, they, they, wanna, they want to force us. But Allah said what? Be good to them. Be kind to them. Even they want to force you. Okay? Likewise, the verse of the there's one thing he lied, I want to clarify, because I remember uh, 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 if everyone would be watching, inshallah, that's I have to go, because I had a class, you know, I couldn't stay uh, any longer. But after when the brother showed me the, 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 the video, he mentioned that uh, in Sahih Bukhari, he mentioned the last chapter of the Quran was revealed is Tawbah. This man, look how he misquote. Well, he does not mention that this, this, this statement of, it's not a uh, statement of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi that was a statement of Al-Bara. There's another statement in Sahih Bukhari that the last chapter of the Quran that was revealed, Surah Al-Ma'idah. There's another statement in Sahih Bukhari, the last chapter that was revealed, Ida Ja'a Rasulullah. So what the scholar said, every companion speaking what he knew, according to his knowledge. But there is no clear-cut hadith that Prophet said, this is the last chapter. Of course, we know that some, the, 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 the ulama differ about okay i mean this the, the some sahaba said this or that according to their knowledge but the point here is 
ذا الله كليلي عند القران ولا ماشي ذا فاس وقت المتحنه ذا يشوت فورس ذا دوس اون نيفر فوت ان غاس اس بيكوز اور ريليجن اور نيفر توك اس اوت فروم اور هاوسز بي كايند تو ذيم بي جود تو ذيم الله كاتيجوريز كليلي بات ذيس غايز ذي نوت ذير تو هير ذا تروف اور تو ليسن ذي ذير جاست تو لاي وان ثينغ ذا اونا منشن اجين هي لايت ان غاس ابن كثير هي وين هي نيو ذا ابن كثير نيفر سيت تو فورس بيبل تو بيكام مسلم Right. So why did he want to the hadith? When the messenger of Allah said to the person, become a Muslim. He said, I dislike it. He said, even if you dislike it. He said that you're forcing. You're not forcing. Now if I tell you, take the medicine. You're going to tell me, I dislike it. I said, even if you dislike it, take it. Because I know there is good in it. When you take it, you become better. That's, you, you, you become well. I'm not forcing you. But because I know there is goodness in that medicine. I said, even if you dislike it, take it. Because I know afterward, you will not regret it. So there is no force in here, but he wants to lie. But guess what Ibn Kathir said about the hadith? So even Ibn Kathir, he said in the hadith, commented on the hadith, he said, Prophet Muhammad said, did not force him here to read for the Arabic, because I know Christians are going to come to our channel and watch. Say, read, read the Arabic. I will read the Arabic. Here. Even we'll show it. فَإِنَّهُ Ibn Kathir now. He said, this hadith is sahih. ولكن ليس من هذا القبيل فانه لم يكره يكره النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم عن الاسلام بل دعاه اليه فاخبر ان ان نفسه ليست قابله بل هي كارهه فقال له اسلم وان كنت كارها فان الله سيرزقك حسن النيه والاخلاص بس ابن كثير اون جيت تو فوكس هير فور ذا كريشن اربس كوز اف كريشن اربس اي برينغ ذيم So what he says, let me translate it. So he said, this hadith doesn't not necessitate that he's forcing. He didn't not force him upon Islam. Rather, he just called him to Islam. He said, even if you're disliking it now, but become a Muslim and Allah will give you the good intention and sincerity. So he tried, when he noticed that Ibn Qadir never said force, he tried to hang on this hadith. Say, yeah, yeah, but this hadith, what Ibn Qadir said. Again, Lying against Ibn Kathir. So, I want just to summarize this point, and the Prophet remind me one, one of the good points as well, that when Abu Bakr Siddiq himself, after Prophet Muhammad passed away, نعم, after Prophet Muhammad passed away, Abu Bakr when he sent, when he sent the army to fight against those who tried to harm the Muslims and attack the Muslims, the Romans, Christian Romans, he said, do not kill a priest, do not kill children, do not kill a wife. But the point here is, if the only reason for us to kill the Christians because of their belief, the first person that should be killed is the priest. Because he's the one who preaching the Christianity's belief. But that shows you, it's not about, just, it's not about their belief. If they attack us and try to harm us. And I'm not even Ibn Taymiyyah what he said. So, let me make it clear to people out there. There's the verse of, uh, to be good to the disbelievers, does not abrogate the verses of fighting and a vice versa for this verse for specific situation and that verse for specific situation however those guys they are on a mission try to make it seem that islam just killing 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 and that is incorrect that is a lie against islam and as i've mentioned the bible the bible the other there's many verses when the, the israelites were ordered to kill the non-israelites not because they were uh, the enemies go to the village and besiege the village and kill all of them. Some of them just kill everyone, just kill the woman. And many, many verses. But, you know, the, these people are noticed, they don't care. I'm trying to tell him that, look, you're lying, but it, instead of going to his area, he was going over his head. So, inshallah ta'ala, again, alhamdulillah. So, the first video that we put, when we say he's lying against Ibn Kathir, without any doubt, this man continued to lie against Ibn Kathir when he noticed that. He had no proof and he's been exposed. He tried to hang on, on the hadith. And this hadith is not, doesn't say force. Okay? I hope that is clear. Subhanakallah bihamdik. Shalom la ilaha illa ant. Astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk. And inshallah, as I've promised in the previous video, we're going to do, not, to do another episode to refute the claim of those some scholars who said this verse abrogated by Imam Shaqiti, Ibn Taymiyyah, and other than that from the scholars. Because why? Not because one chapter was revealed after the other chapter, therefore, khalas is abrogated. No. You have to have a clear cut abrogated. You understand?
so there's no clear cut rather there's no clear cut to say it's abrogated rather there's a clear cut to say is the verses of not compulsion people to Islam has not been abrogated okay والله تعالى أعلم وصلى الله نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين والسلام سليم كثيرا